it was so nice of Mark Pardo and the Ronald McDonald House and Girls Night Out to pamper us. It was amazing. We got facials and our hair done, our makeup done. Time as a mom, especially with a child that has appointments or is sick or has been in the hospital, you don't spend on yourself. Once you have a little one, especially one that's a little special, your time goes to them. And so to get time to spend on yourself is amazing and I couldn't be more thankful. Today I got to be pampered. <laughs> got a facial, a hand massage, scalp massage, chopped a lot of length off my hair. <laughs> um, my makeup was done, so, and I feel great. Yeah. <laughs> Time to go out on the town. <laughs> Our daughter was born premature and she was in the hospital for four and a half months. She was born weighing 15 ounces and she came at 24 weeks. I went into kidney failure, so she came and uh, she was at Presbyterian Hospital, a little fighter. She was there for four and a half months, intubated for about three and a half months. Um, went through a lot of things there, but um, she came out just fine and she came home at the end of last summer and she's 27 pounds and almost two years old and you'd never know in a million years that she was ever born before she was supposed to be. My daughter Gabriella, she's eight years old and last April the 27th she was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia which is ALL and we've been coming to the Ronald McDonald house two to three times a month sometimes once a month depending on her treatments. My story started out like any typical pregnancy. It was amazing, we had everything planned, everything was going great until it wasn't. Life just kind of was turned upside down and 26 weeks I went into the hospital and had my little boy. And he was, it was amazing, it was an emergency C-section so you don't get the chance to understand anything or kind of know what's going on. It just happens and at that point, I wasn't sure exactly what the outcome would be, or much less to think of where I was going to stay or what was going to happen. I was more worried about, is he going to survive? My family um, began May 9th last year in 2013 when my daughter was born. We went to Presbyterian Hospital, and at the time of her birth, there were some complications, and she ended up needing to spend a lot of time in the NICU. So while we were there, we um, a doctor actually came up to us and gave us some passes, some blue wristbands that we were then uh, gave us access to this new facility that Presbyterian had called the Ronald McDonald Family Room. Using the room was great because we could, like, you know, it would take us five minutes to get there. We could spend even a short half an hour and then get back down and um, feel like we got to take the break that we needed to take, but be really close to our daughter. And, not have to take so much time to do that. With everything that we go through, you don't know from one moment to the next how things are going to change or be different or what emergencies are going to come up, but at least with the Ronald McDonald House just down the street from the hospital, you have stability and the kids need that, that are going through all these, what they're going through, at least that's one thing they have that is stable in their life and those things take a lot of the stress off. If you're having a tough day and you feel like your life is just so hard and, and you don't know what you're going to do, I suggest go to the Ronald McDonald House and talk to someone who's going through a situation that they have no control over and it really, really humbles you. It really does. I guess I was one of those people who didn't know much about the Ronald McDonald House so now that I see the little <laughs> containers for putting your pennies in, I start, I realize just how beneficial that those donations are. So I would um, encourage people to, you know, if they have a little, a little spare change to throw it in them. Those people there that do help, even the ones who are just having fun and going out for a girls' night out, it makes a huge difference because, because of that, the people who, when they're down and out and really need this help, they have it. And it's, it's an amazing thing. It's an amazing thing.